Hello traders, uh, this is analysis, Forex analysis for CAD JPY pair. And we're looking at week one of November for analysis and projection. So as you can see, uh, we are between uh, two major a zone. We have a daily zone of resistance right here and a support right here. As you can see right now, we have a hundred EMA at the, uh, a support and price open right now here, over here. And last week we can see price come down, touch it. If you are not it, that would be the best time to get it because price has been respecting it over here. See right here. All these areas that's a major area to buy because price in a time frame is an uptrend as you can see this is an uptrend going on and right now our price has been going down but as you can see the last low price did was here okay price was low here all the way up here come down didn't make a low that's lower than this low and price been going is making a, a, a high that is lower than this high. That's good. And price has come back making a low again. The same low as this low. Still, we are on an uptrend. And last week, price went up. So let's move this because price market just opened. And we can see price right now is doing its thing right here. So let's go to the four time frame to see. Uh, look at that. Okay is uh, what are we talking about okay so price is in an uptrend so this is the four hour time frame we have it's 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 already spent one hour over here this is a new four hour candlestick we have two hours and 43 minutes before this one's close what do we want to see to be able to take a short buy to make it to that support right here this is we can find something over here for 130 okay that's a possibility okay so that's what we want to see this is it but this might come i get here and come down here for 175 pip as well so uh this is this is what we are looking for that cat jpy pair this is the four hour time frame so as you can see we have many four hour um uh, zones that we are watching this is one right here see it was respected here 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 and then why it was respected here to come down so we want to see that four hour candlestick we want to see it close above it if it's close above it come back to touch it then we'll we might take a short buy here <laughs> okay let's look at the possibilities there might be short buy here or short sell depends on where this four hour candlestick close okay important the next area we are i'm watching this is me portrait this week is this area right here this is for sell and if price come back to that area over here i am looking at it for another buy. okay this is the three area i'm looking i'm looking at okay so this four hour candlestick that's open if it's close above it i want to see it come back to it in the lower time frame give me confirmation to tell me it's gonna continue to go up then i can take a trade to go up here with it so let's go lower time frame this is the two zone i'm gonna leave it there. this is the two zone we're looking for let's look at the one hour time frame as you can see in the one hour time frame look at that Okay, look at this is why we see we have to go to a lower time frame for confirmation. As you can see, price is already break it in the lower time frame. I don't tr four hour time frame is my confirmation for zone breaking. But if this four hour candle close above it, then I know most likely it will come back to test it a second time before i take trade i'm gonna wait 
before I buy to say price is going up, that does, I does, that doesn't mean anything, okay? Price might do this and come back and close it below that, 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 that resistance right here. This is the four hour, but then the lower time frame, it's telling me, hey, it's breaking, but I'm not too, until the four hour candlestick is closed and give me real confirmation, it's closed above it, I don't trust this too much. And it's, it's, it, there's 40 minutes for it to close. It might come back and close below. Give you a confirmation for sell. Okay? This is why we don't, you don't do, we, we don't deal with emotion we are trading. Because we might say, oh, price will go down. That doesn't mean anything. Because the four candlestick tell us that's not the thing. If this, this candlestick, you see, it's close above. Now it's coming down. We don't know where this one is going to close. It might come down to close below it to get a confirmation. And then the four candles might be close below it. Now I can take a short sell to come down here. See, short sell from here to here. That's a good 50 bit. Okay. So this is why we do this. We do analysis so we can see what the market is doing. And to look at candlestick. If you are a trader, you're looking to let to know how to understand technical analysis visit www.eta25pips.com that's a great technical technical this is a great uh, uh, uh school trading school that can help you all right i've been through it okay so that's why I, I refer it a lot okay i know these guys and if i go down to the 30 minutes as you can see 30 minutes still open nine minutes to close. that doesn't tell me anything it's break it but it's not a confirmation. If it's confirmed, if it's come back close here, down here, it might continue to go down. But I want to see that close above the line. So if it's close above the line, and then in about two hours and 30 minutes, this can close above as well. That's my definitely triple confirmation. 30 minutes confirmed, one hour is confirmed, four hours confirmed. Then when we come back to it, when the next four hour candlestick open, if it's come back to it, either in the morning, then there's a possibility for trade. This is why we do analysis. This is the CAD JPY pair. I already tell you, this is the three areas I'm looking for, looking for trade. Right now, this one watching it because four hours is not closed. But if we go lower time frame, you can see there's a possibility. Break above it, but it's come back to it. It's coming back. I want to see when this one's closed. 30 minutes, I want to do the same thing. I want to see where this 30 minutes can also gonna close. Okay, seven minutes for it to close. Until this is closed above and continue touching this to come back. Close above, touching this to come back. Then when it's come when it when it comes back, then I'm gonna wait to, to go up with it. Four hours. Until this close above and come back in the next candlestick. That doesn't, that I do, I'm not sure yet. If you take a, a buy here to go up and it's reverse on you, that's with no confirmation, that's not a good way to trade. Okay, this is why we traders, we're looking at this thing. This is analysis of CAD JPY for week one, what we're looking for, what we're waiting on. This is the zone we are looking at to take trade for the CAD JPY pair.